Leadership requires the courage to talk about the difficult things. But neither Rishi Sunak nor Keir Starmer want to talk about the scale of the benefits crisis in the UK. We've got 5.2 million people on out-of-work benefits, some one in eight of the working age population. It's one and a half million more than pre-COVID. In some cities, it's one in five of the working age population. So many people now are trapped on benefits. People are resigning from low paid jobs, realizing they're better off on benefits and working just 16 hours a week. This is a tragedy of wasted talent. The truth is in the UK, we don't have a people shortage. We've got a willing worker shortage. And yet too many in big business and politicians, they're just pulling for the lever of importing ever more cheap, low-skilled overseas labour. They seem quite happy to abandon the 5.2 million people, to leave them to rot. I say no, we have to motivate, encourage these people back into work. And sometimes, yes, there has to be some carrot and stick. Of course, the benefit system, quite rightly, is there for those who genuinely need it. But too many are trapped on benefits. And for too many, it's become a lifestyle choice. And there are too many skivers and shirkers. And I know that'll upset some people. But look, there's no such thing as a free lunch. We have to make work pay. And for too many, work at the moment simply does not pay. Reform UK has a clear plan to make work pay. We've got to raise the starting point at which anybody pays income tax from £12,500 a year to £20,000 a year. That's almost £30 a week. That frees up some 6 million people on low incomes from paying any income tax at all. That's a real difference. £30 extra a week. We must aim to get 2 million people who are currently on benefits back into work. We don't have a people shortage, we have a willing worker shortage. And the savings in doing this would pay almost all of the cost of lifting this income tax starting point. To make Britain work, we've got to make work pay. And it's only Reform UK that's a clear, bold plan to do this.